After the configuration of the logger, we will move on to the MFM. As seen on the circuit diagram shown on the panel of the MFM, we will first make the connections of voltage V1, V2, V3 and Vn. As shown in the diagram, Vr, Vy, Vb and Vn. Now we make the connections according to the diagram previously shown. V1 connected to Vr, V2 connected to Vy, V3 connected to Vb and V4 connected to Vn. V1, V2, V3, Vn can be seen explicitly from here. Now we will see the meters connection towards the LT side or to the ACDB. The red wire, the Y or the phase is segregated from the rest of the bunch. The connections are made according to the R, Y, B of the ACDB. Now we will move to the CT connections. As shown in the meter, each phase has two wires S1, S2. We will mark I1 for R phase, I2 for Y phase and R3 for B phase. For each phase, there are two wires, S1 and S2. S1 corresponds to the live, whereas S2 corresponds to the neutral. In the same way, every phase has S1 and S2 associated with it. Pin 1 and 2 corresponds to the S1, live, and S2, neutral. Pin 3 corresponds to the Y, live, and pin 4 corresponds to the Y, neutral. In the same way, pin 5 corresponds to the blue live and pin 6 corresponds to the blue neutral. We will do the CT connections accordingly. S1 comes to the left when the current direction is down and, and when current direction is up, S2 comes to the left. Now we will make the connections onto the ACDB with RCTs. In RCT, there are two wires the S2 which is connected to the neutral and S1 which is connected to the line voltage of R phase. The direction of the CT could be determined by the section of video we have just seen or right hand thumb rule. We will replicate the same strategy for all the other CTs. For the Y phase we connect S1 to the line and S2 to neutral. For the B phase in the same way we will connect S1 to the line and S2 to the neutral.